out Jamaica, baby, they made me to be the greatest Serving the deed of my creators, fresh off of my high haters It's the king again, Magdalene, Sophie bragging and boasting Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars Welcome back to the channel, it's another day, another dollar video I will be reacting to The Sopranos Season 3, Episode 8 if y'all been watching my reactions, y'all know how I feel about this season. I believe this is one of the best seasons that we have gotten so far. I've really been enjoying the the pacing, the action. I mean, it ain't really too much action, but there's a lot of things happening. And you know the action is right around the corner. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen the rest of the season. We made it halfway in this season and nothing too crazy has happened just yet. So that only means to me that the second half of this season is going to be a lot of crazy things going down. We already know that there seems to be like some tension brewing between Tony and the other family. I'm just so excited to see what's going to happen. I've been wanting to finish this series, but I don't want to finish it so fast that, that I don't process it. Because, you know, the one thing about the streaming era that we're in nowadays, people are so accustomed to binge watching shows that they don't really get to appreciate it. Like back in the days, you would have to wait every week for an episode to drop. And it was like an event, you know what I'm saying? Something to look forward to on the weekend with your family, watch the new episode. And then once that season was done, you had to wait a whole nother year or two for the next season. So it's like this streaming era, we really don't appreciate it. I find myself binge watching a lot of shows nowadays, but then it's like after you binge watch it, you don't really appreciate it or take it in and this is one show that I do want to finish and go through it, but I actually want to take my time and appreciate greatness. Without further ado, let's hop right into this episode and check it out. So I'm assuming Meadows at a college party. Meadow, you better not start taking no type of drugs now. You are so nice. I mean, I knew that the first day you saw me. Hug me. <laughs> I feel like her friend is so self-destructive, yo. What? Ecstasy. Oh. Your friend. What the fuck is he doing in Columbia? Guys. Don't tell me she's going to start messing with Jackie Jr., bro. You like that? She took a little ecstasy. Now she want to really have some ecstasy. Having fun? Not as much as Caitlyn. Yo, you see the eyes she had on me? The lid, dude. Come up with fucking home. <laughs> Talking about a Jamaica. Freshman year. I came up here to see you. Got any more ex? For you, the first hit's free. Meadow, what the fuck? I'm really disappointed right now, girl. Just don't tell you that. I don't even talk to him anymore. She gonna take that ecstasy and end up fucking around with Jackie. Read up and suck my dick. Yes, yes, baby. Yes, baby. yes, baby. I ain't gonna lie, giving Tony's daughter ecstasy is a violation, man. Punishable by death. Rich man, ropey boy. What's? <laughs> hey, how are you? Why they don't look too happy to see Tony? What, they not having fun no more? Fucking fight you, Demir. You don't come say hello? What's this, a new suit? Huh? Yeah, that's disrespectful. The boss come in, you don't even say what's up. What's wrong with you? The skip's here. I'm on a roll here. You'll be on a slab, you keep it up. Mmm. Hey, hey come come You're gonna be on a slab, boy. I'm sorry, this fucking guy. <laughs> and he's gonna leave probably without even saying nothing? Fake ass kiss. Look good. Want hmm. a drink? Not the time, Anthony. You should have took that drink, bro. Not the time. That was like the olive branch right there. You want a drink? Yeah, let's drink, man. Let's talk it out. <laughs> Tony, why even Let's put up with it? Yeah, just get rid of him, bro. For me to enjoy myself. I could enjoy myself knowing that my enemy is six feet deep, bro. So fucking hard. No, Jackie, don't. 
Boy gonna have blue balls. Madam, wake pa- up. Passed out. Sleeping. You drank too much fucking tequila. Come on, I can't stop now. Yo, is he gonna? D- is he gonna violate? Yeah, bro, you better be careful, bro. Is he gonna take advantage of her while she's sleeping, bro? If he don't, somebody else might do with the yarmulke. Oh, she's in her dorm. Okay. At least she's in her dorm. Anthony, cocksucker turns his back on a boss. That, I couldn't believe. Look at him put one on his fucking head. On that front, don't be surprised if Paulie pops a question. Hmm. Ralphie's uh, star is rising. All those unions. Paulie can't come near the kind of cash for us. Ah, uh, so it makes it harder to whack him. Pull a Jack Ruby on you. I'm gonna have to punch this fucking asshole. Frankly, I was a little surprised. Are you gonna start on me now? Huh? He disrespected the Bing. So? He's barred from the place. He makes them too much money to get rid of him. Ish that poor girl's brains in. Facts. It was a tragedy. The fact is, though, she was not related to you by blood or marriage. She was not your gumad. Ralphie's a made guy, Tom. All things considered, he's got a legitimate beef. I mean, if he disappear or make nice, you only got two choices. I would suggest something in the way of uh, apologize. Not do something public that shows there's no bad blood. You wildin'. Man, give me a piece of the casino. We're partnered with New York on that, and I don't want him that close to Johnny Sang. You could bump him up to captain. That's what he's been wanting, you know. That'll make him happy, though. Fucking captain. Over my dead body. Ralphie is like the revenge of fucking um Richie. <laughs> Richie's ghost. The look on Tony's face when I turned down that drink. Buy me a drink, fuck you. He knew it was wrong what he did. He is the boss. He can do what he wants. Facts. No, you don't raise your hands to another made guy. Joe Vo from Mulberry Street. Exact same situation. He smacked that guy from North Bergen around. Mm-hmm. Huge problem. Of course. Rules are rules, otherwise what? Fucking Anna. At the very least, Tony owes you an apology. The money I put in his pocket for construction alone, he should hit his knees, this prick. What? You think I'm afraid of that fat fuck? You might not be, but you should be. I could see if it was his daughter, uh, Anissa is. But all this over some dead hooah. I feel like Tony still did the right thing, even if she wasn't related. You get what I'm saying? Because he's a fucking piece of shit. Fucking hot. That's why, that's how he is. Like a dog with two bones. I'm supposed to go over there for Thanksgiving, me and Ro. Tony's. Really? Fuck him and his turkey. I gotta shove a drumstick up his ass. Bro, you could get whacked for just talking about the boss like that. <laughs> Major antipas first, then soup. Meatballs and shkarol, then the baked managat. I don't know any of those names, but they sound good. Manakot. <laughs> Manakot? Turkeys are here. I'm gonna have to Google that. Thing with turkeys, they got no sense of direction. They're on their way to food emporium, and now look. <laughs> <laughs> What's this here about Ralph Ciparetta? You refuse to have a drink with you at the club? Wow, I was getting around, huh? He refused to drink because she's a despicable fuck that I bitch slapped in a moment of very justified anger. That sounds like a problem. Yes, it does. The fact that a lot of people keep bringing it up to Tony it, it shows you that it is a problem. <laughs> That's a beautiful bird. Ah, oh, shit. What's the matter? That fucking asshole's supposed to come to Thanksgiving with Rosalie. No way he'll show. I'm gonna give him the option? That cocksucker shouldn't even be there in the first place. I know you don't like to be pinned down, but Thanksgiving, it would be very nice to be able to tell Carmela whether you're coming. That's awkward if he goes and uh, meadows there. So, Thanksgiving, who's all coming this year? You know, the usual. Nana and Grandpa, Chris and Aide. Uh, I think Janice is bringing someone from her... This sounds like it's going to be an eventful Thanksgiving. <laughs> Jackie's probably not coming, though, right? Oh, I don't know. Why? Can I just ask anything? All right, take it easy. I have class. I'll see you Thursday. All right, bye. Hello? Hey, Carm, it's Ro. God, it is so weird that you just called. I just hung up with Meadow, and she was asking if Jackie was coming up at Thanksgiving. 
Oh, really? Jackie just asked me about her. My Don't tell me the moms are going to try to ship them, bro. <laughs> Can you imagine the beautiful children those two would make with those jeans? Wow. Remember when Meta was born, what we said? Yes, we said a lot of things, Ro. Do me a favor, concentrate on that almond tortillas, all right? I'm counting on you. I'm looking for the recipe. All right, fine. Well, Jackie Jr. looks way older than Meadow, though. Is a third. Oh my God, it's huge. It's a good thing I'm feeding an army this year. Not as many as you think. I need you to call Rosalie and cancel with them. Thanksgiving? Why? Just do it, all right? Enough of this jets and shit. I'm going over to Mr. Spacely's house for dinner. I was just talking. <laughs> Fine, I'll call. And my excuse won't be nearly as nice as yours. Wow, Tony. Well, you could at least invite everybody but uh, Ralph. But then that'll look bad, though. They're going to be like, why you don't want Ralph to come? Dr. Akavi, Gloria Trillo, Who's Globe this? Mercedes. Look how Tony's looking, too. <laughs> An S600 just came in. You're the first person I thought of. Wood trim package, GPS with everything. Only 7,500 miles. Don't tell me that's his new uh, therapist. Or she's going to see the same therapist great no i'm sorry i can't uh we're doing a sales meeting at lunch i ain't gonna lie that's a nice little outfit tony wearing you know that should cost some bread <clears throat> you waiting for somebody in there got an appointment there did she double book us mm -hmm. i'm usually thursday but i had to reschedule because of the holiday oh, that's the one i usually come he's a regular i'm trying to uh quit smoking serial killer I murdered seven relationships. Uh, that's a red flag. My appointment. Oh, no, no, I couldn't do that. No. No, be my good deed for the day. Flag on the play. I'm pretty sure you said Tuesday. I did? I'll come back next week at the same time and uh, no problemo. I told her she can have my appointment. Actually, it is a little difficult getting away from work. See? I could see you tonight at 7. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I ain't gonna lie, the other one looks all right too. Man. This therapist knows that Tony gonna be on some funny shit. <laughs> she knows what you up to, Tony. This is so terrible to do on such short notice, but I, I just got off the phone with Ma. What's the matter? It's my father. They had some troubling test results, something to do with his white blood cells. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Uh, they're going to have to do further testing before they can be sure of the diagnosis. Ma just wants to have a quiet Thanksgiving. She said that they would have it, you know, just to chill with them. But they should be with their family. I, I feel so awful giving you so little notice. That's such a horrible lie. Like, it's a good lie. And the fact that it's good makes it bad. It's horrible. Like, you're using your dad. <laughs> it's messed up. All right. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> Carm's father, he's sick. She had to cancel Thanksgiving. Ralph probably knows his bullshit. It's 3 a.m. Bam. Come wide awake. Something specific? It's a management problem. It's, it's, it's a situation with an underling. Mm. Now, it's partly my fault, but he never should have done what he did. Facts. Did you tell me that? Caused the <laughs> early retirement Oh, somebody else. She could read between the lines. Particulars aren't important. He fucked up. Yeah. Early oh, retirement. Ordinarily, I would just, uh, you know, put him out the past you. Whack him. But he's a very valuable piece of manpower. Is it complicated by a personal relationship? Yeah. Our wives, our friends. Well, I don't think he's married to Jackie Jr.'s that, uh, mom. A book you told me about. The Art of War by Sun Tzu. It's a great book. 48 Laws of Power, too. I mean, here's this guy, a Chinese general, wrote this thing 2,400 years ago. Still applies and most of today. Still applies today. Mm hmm. Balk the enemy's power. Show strength when you're really weak. Show that you're weak when you're really strong. You know, most of the guys that I know, they read Prince Machiavelli. And I had come out go and get the Cliff Notes once, and it is okay. That's a book I would like to read. But this book is much better about strategy. I really got to get back on my reading shit. I used to read a lot. There's a lot of books that I got on my list that I, I really so want to read. I wanted to ask you about the, the girl, you know, that woman that was here today. The Mercedes sales lady. 
I'm very sorry about the confusion. Mm -hmm. What does somebody like that need a shrink for? I can't talk about another patient. Just, uh, that makes you wonder, that's all. Will she get jealous? <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, Tony is never going to smash his therapist, right? Like, that's out of the picture now? You want me to walk into your car? No, thank you. I have some work I have to catch up on here. And I hope that Tony finds out what happens eventually to her and handles it. But if he does and handles it, she probably going to react badly. Anyone for turtle? Hmm? Aaron. Talk about a quiet Thanksgiving. You got so many people here. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, you looking thick, Meadow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's reminded of the girl because she was like his daughter's age. I hey. get it now. Hey. Meadow looks so beautiful, but bro. You know I love you more than anything in this world, right? Kind of tear it up. What are you talking about? I know things haven't been so good with us lately. It's just... Man, Meadow is anything beautiful. Anything would ever happen to you. Everybody, come on, dinner. I will scorch earth if anything ever happened to you. I get it now. Jackie, honey, you don't have to stay for dessert if you don't want to. Jesus Christ, the little manners, huh? What'd she just say? It's okay. Yeah, if I was Jackie Jr., you ain't gonna be talking to me like that in my mom's house, bro. What the fuck you think you are? You forgot that my dad used to be a boss? I tell you a nifty trick. Break off a piece of Ohio kitchen match in the screw hole. Give the thread something to grab onto. Yeah. Because I used the elbows and the knob still fell out. Forget about it. Hmm. Wasn't, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Narcolepsy is an ASDA certified dysomnia. Didn't she have a younger dude that she was messing with? for turkey sandwiches! <laughs> yeah, Tony's hilarious. Hey! Jackie, hi! I guess you know everybody here, uh, except for Aaron, Janice's friend. Hey, have you heard the good news? He is risen. Sit down, my boy. He is. Amen. <laughs> I just figured I'd see if Meta wanted to do something. See a movie, whatever. Huh? Sure, I mean, I was going to go over to Hunter's. You want to go? Whatever. I'll be down there. Oh, I kind of... I kind of like that move from Jackie. Is Tony so, going to uh, be mad, though? How's school? Everything good, right? Yeah, GPA is up this quarter. That takes a lot of balls. You went over to Tony's house, took Meadow out. Then come the dogs. Hunter's expecting me. I still don't trust his intentions with Meadow, though. On paper, it looks good, right? And they look good on paper, but I don't know about them yet. We can hang out all weekend. We wouldn't have to, like, do anything. Matter of fact, you gave her ecstasy, bro. You already, that's one strike. Don't you have midterms, too? I don't even go anymore. What? Why? Organic chemistry. He lied. Leotides and shit. You want to know what I'm interested in? Mob life. Men's fashion. Not the faggy part of it, but, like, to be Hugo Boss. Making money. The life. Dudes fall in love with the life, bro. The fast money, the streets. I want to be with you so bad. I can't, Jackie. She still hasn't gotten over that lame. You won't go with me, but you'd go with that black guy. It's not that I don't want to go. I've been hurt. See? Just give me some time, okay? i take it, bro. She says give her some time. That's not bad. Just give her some time. You're a little impatient. It makes me crazy. Rosalie, all of them. They're already hiring the caterers. We were young when we got married, but those two, emotionally, they are much younger than we were. Until then... Tony's not trying to think about that right now. The Mercedes-Benz Coupes and Convertibles. <laughs> I know what he's thinking about. <laughs> They're gonna get one of those. One of Mercedes? Go ahead. It's a cute car. Yeah, he's gonna show up to Shorty's job, try to scoop it. Skipper. No shit. It's 
Marone. Tony sees the big picture. Oh, little Paulie. Hey, 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 Tom. treating you okay? No complaint. Oh, I just seen that the real Paulie, the actor, passed away not too long ago. RP, man. RP to all the people that worked on the show that's not with us no more, you know? So, uh, how things going over there, you know, with our friend? No, the same, you know. What's he saying about me? To me? Hmm. Nothing. He knows about it. But he's, he's talking. He's breaking my balls off about taking orders from me. Plus now with you and him and all that other shit there. You know, it's your job to make my job easier. Hmm. I like that line. It's your job to make my job easier. Look, I don't know how things are going to go, but I can't promise he's going to go away. No, it's not just him. Mm. It's free on deal. We're in the middle of a major renovation at the house. I got two kids getting ready for college soon. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, hey, hang in there. You're doing a good job. What would y'all do, bro? Because Ralphie is a major earner, bro. So it's like... At the end of the day, he's going to be a headache regardless. You might as well just get rid of the headache before it becomes worse. Before it becomes a migraine. Fucking stress is killing him. Yeah. Maybe he wants my fucking job. Hmm. Sure you don't want to eat? I got a little turkey left. No, no, thank you, dear. Johnny, please, don't get up. I'm off to physical therapy, honey. He wants to fuck with Johnny Sachs? You heard what he did with Thanksgiving? It's not good, Ralph. Will you please tell me what I did to this guy? Turned down a drink? I wasn't thirsty. Ralph. Ever since I'm back from Miami, he's up my ass. I'm earning with three hands here, and it's still not good enough to satisfy this cocksucker. It's the disrespect, bro. It's the disrespect. I'm you, John, he's not leaving me a lot of options here. Don't talk crazy. Mm. You want to commit suicide, pills are a lot easier. Mm. Talking about options. You ain't got no options. What are you what talking about? What do you think would say if I wanted to switch families? Come with you guys. Carmine doesn't know who you are. You could tell him. Ralph, listen to me. I wouldn't want you in my family. As a friend, I know Tony can be difficult. His father was the same, his uncle. They always need someone to demonize. <laughs> but New York and Sopranos have long-standing ties. And that's not going to change. Not for you or anybody else. That name is too powerful, Soprano. You brought this on yourself with that girl. A, she was a hooah. B, she hit me. And... That wasn't my kid she was carrying. Yeah. That's what makes it even worse, bro. Like, you're such a sh... Just tell Anthony you're sorry. I was high. I admit it. And I swear to Christ, I'm not doing it anymore. Tony, I'm sorry. Fuck that. What good would it do? It might save your life. Mm. He hit me. He, he is a boss. And you are a douche. You don't think I know people are laughing behind my back? Talk to Tony. I'm sure he'll make it right. At this point, how? Would you take cop of your crew? No. No, I wouldn't. No fucking way. Ralph Sifaretto came by. Yeah, what do you want? The uh, fully fueled jet and the safe trip to the Pope? He's running scared <laughs> since you canceled that dinner. If your opponent is of choleric temper, irritate him. Out of war. Yeah, well, he wants to apologize. Oh, really? Would that put this to rest? If it's sincere, it might relieve me of a very unpleasant decision. Mm. You know, they were about to break ground on the Esplanade. Talking about millions of dollars here, Tony. Wouldn't hurt either of us to have a point man in there feels appreciated. I mean, I could see that too. You gotta look at it from their side, Tony. Just put the pride down a little bit. Capo? No fucking way. Never. Capo? You heard what he did. That poor girl just had a 20th birthday. Capo's what he mentioned. I threw cold water on it right away. But she was a whore, Tony. You know, I don't want to talk about that situation ever again with anybody. Yeah, Tony has his reasons, bro. Y'all not getting it. It's a suggestion. Keep a happy shop. Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't you say you weren't going to stick your beak in? Can't two friends talk? Yeah. You want to see him? <sighs> great. He said that? That's, that's great. That's fucking great news. What'd I tell you? It might be a setup, bro. What's he going to do to make that right? Just talk to him. He indicated he's very open to working something out. Thank you. Thank you. Anything. They're going to meet up and Tony's going to piss him off even more, probably. Listen, you find yourself short on X. I know a guy. He was getting the X from him? X? What? I'm trying to do you a favor. Uh. 
And just so you know, how does he even that know about bullshit that? your future father-in-law pulled over Thanksgiving? He knew I had no intention of going over there. He's trying to save face. So he stooped so low, he had his wife lie to your mother. Mutter. Whatever you need, give me a call. Funny how they always say mutter instead of mother. <laughs> you mutter. You motherfucker, you. Sometimes I just want to scream in her face. Quit whining. No wonder he left you. That's the chick Tony saw. Her cross-eyed, and I get a call at 3 o'clock in the morning. She wants to talk about how her father laughed at her when she fell off her bicycle when she was seven. Does she call your emergency number? No, that's not the point, Elliot. Oh, these fucking interruptions. <laughs> yeah, she is stressed. You have feelings of your own, and who is listening? That's right, damn it. I have to sit there and take care of these people hour after hour. Who's taking care of her? With all their problems. And some of them are very real. And but nobody told you to go back to work so soon, bro. Like, you could have been chilling. You forced yourself to go back to work. It's hard sometimes. I just want to say, I hurt. That's why you're here. I'm sorry, Elliot. Is she going to end up messing with him? You've been through such trauma. It takes tremendous strength of will and inner resource to soldier on as you do at your work. That's true. Thank you. She is a soldier for it, but nobody told her to I do try. it. I really do. It's just hard sometimes. Well, maybe working keeps her from thinking about the trauma. You know, some people work so they don't have to think about it. And Soprano, how, how's all that? He offered to escort me to my car. I almost fell in his arms crying. Hmm. She's vulnerable. She is vulnerable. She might slip up and they might actually still do it. I don't know, bro. I'm kind of suspect. They patting his waist, make sure he ain't got a gun. <laughs> this is going to go left. <clears throat> you want to see me? About what? About what? You know, to apologize. Oh. So. He won't even offer him a seat, bro. Hmm. I was doing a lot of coke. I said some things and I did some things. Wasn't in the right frame of mind. I'm sorry for not gonna happen again. What'd you do? I was rude when you offered me to drink. And killing the girl? And I disrespected the Bing. Tony might not accept that apology either way. And the girl. Mm. That shouldn't happen. But like I said, I was doing a lot of coke. I gave that up and mm. sent the story and I'm sorry, Tony. Okay. What is Tony going to do? <laughs> I can't even enjoy my meal in a situation like that. Anything else? Hey. Go, Jake. Hey, Jake. My wife made some turkey sandwiches. Anybody wants one? Yeah. Ralphie's going to start some shit. He's probably going to kill this dude. Ralph around? Not yet. Want to give him a call? Please. Let's just enjoy the quiet, huh? <laughs> I mean, Ralph actually made a, an attempt to fix things, so... Infighting and nothing. Environmental impact you gave me nothing. I mean, you're still breathing, right? Not a thing, John. Not a thank you. Not an apology. Nothing. Calm down. Take it easy. Letting you live is actually more than good enough. Cocksucker didn't even invite me to sit down. It's pastoring. Part of the game. Fuck the game. He's going down. Oh, what are you fucking stupid coming in here talking to me like that? I don't give a fuck anymore. I've given my life to this thing. And this is the thanks I get? Hey, yo. <sighs> He's about to get whacked on the shitter. Hey, yo. It's Silvio Dante on the phone. You want to talk to him? Tell him I'll call him back. 
something about to go down. I can already feel it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're worse than Bobby. Anybody see you come in? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I don't give a shit anymore. Put some leftover turkey and uh, stuffing. Real, real talk, you about to die, bro. You old as shit. You got cancer, all this bullshit. And these drafts. I should be down in Boca. Well, he's doing the chemotherapy, but... It's like the fucking Amazon jungle in here. What's a the thermostat say? Don't touch it! All right. He's more grumpier than usual. Jesus. <laughs> We're supposed to be winter anyway, right? Thanksgiving and shit. Did you ever work for somebody named Trillo? They own the lumber yard. My father was a master stonemason. He never cut fucking wood. Mm. I a contract that in. Built garden apartments. There was somebody named Trillo. He had seven daughters. I can't remember. I thought you were going to ask my advice about Ralph Cifaretto. Got any thoughts? What else do I have left? So he got. <laughs> Real contremps you have on your hands here. A good kid, but you never should have put Gigi in there. Strong, good earner. Well respected. Not by that crew. Mm. To them, he's a gibbeline coming over to butt in. They don't trust him. They undermine him. On top of that, you got Ralph now pissing in their ears. Any day, you'll have a mutiny on your hands. Ooh. So I take Gigi out. What kind of message is that, son? That you're indecisive. Now you can't go back. What the fuck would I replace him with anyway? All good questions. Great. It's the fuck I'd answer. Who says there is one? That's what being a boss is. You steer the ship the best way you know. You can't. Sometimes it's smooth, sometimes you hit the rocks. Yeah. In the meantime, you find your pleasures where you can. That was the best advice you could get, bro. You could try to avoid shit as much as you want, but eventually what's going to happen is going to happen, you know? The fuck happened? Did he get poisoned? Oh, Jesus. Ralph already did something? Hey, yo. What the fuck are you looking at? Call 911. I don't feel a pulse. <laughs> if it was natural, then that probably can solve Tony's problem. He could let Ralph take over the, take over again to the crew, maybe smooth things over, or... Or are we going to see what's going to happen? <laughs> Imagine dying on the shitter, bro. Fucking off. It's a young man. Heart disease. Oh. The silent killer. Hmm. Hey. There are worse ways to go. Even still, I'm the piss I do. <laughs> Pretty fucking humiliating. <laughs> That's how I die. <laughs> that guy in Hollywood, too. Don something taking a shit died he was pushing too hard bro strength is hard <laughs> so is a vacancy there's a lot of business to do hmm. you thought about who it's gonna be ralph is he even at the funeral I mean, he is the best option and to smooth things over. Guy was in here twice a week. Brought the kids and everything on Sundays. Tony been to a lot of funerals, man. You wanted to see me? Sit down. Making you captain. You are? That's great. Oh, that's fucking great. Anthony, you're not going to be sorry. Thank you. I need to hear it was merit. And not just because somebody was constipated and blew a gasket. What does it matter, bro? He made you captain. You're going to be making a lot more money, Ralphie. So don't question. You want a captain? You're captain. Thank you, Tony. You're right. I've wanted this so fucking long. Tony's not happy about it. You know what they say. The more you make, the more you pay? Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. Oh. <laughs> you fuck up. So, um, we're gonna have a drink together or what? Damn. That could have actually solved all the issues right there, bro. But you did turn me down for a drink earlier. Now I'll turn you down. But it's like Tony's still playing hardball. You fuck her yet? Her body is mad, right? Yeah, but did you fuck her yet? She's creaming for me, man. 
<laughs> you didn't fuck it yet. Damn, bro. Can you give him a chance to? I said you were going to eat me. Go sit down. <laughs> Fucking brat. Metal. God damn it. You might just get some if you stop being such a jerk off. Wow. Oh my god, fuck. Metal! Eggy! She's metal, you alright? I didn't think so. Easy. No. They're gonna take her to the hospital. They're gonna see she was on ecstasy or something, and Tony is gonna be pissed. You guys alright? <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> We're totally fine. Nobody got hurt. Yep. We'll tie her. But your car. Fuck the car. We'll call it and stole. Oh my god, Jackie, I am so sorry. No. As long as you're okay. I don't know what I would have done if you would have got hurt. You almost died. I'm so sorry. I should have taken you to Vassal like you wanted. Oh, little Romeo and Juliet. Right. Come on, let's get you home. I don't want to go home. I want to go with you. Now you're going to get lucky, buddy. Sure. She had a near-death experience, and she's going to give up the goodies. <laughs> That's how I usually go. I don't know, Tony. She bad, but she give me red flags, bro. I give you my card. I'll be here at 10 o'clock. Red flags. Run away from her. She's nice trouble. Hey, right. nice you could tell she's trouble, bro. Hey. It's you. Uh, I had my eye on uh, one of these. You have good taste. I don't know if I'd take it for a test drive. You have to be accompanied by a sales rep. Don't tell me he's going to get lucky. Dale? Yeah? I'm going out. 600. <clears throat> Thanks. You might get lucky, bro. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is how they used to do it in back in the days, man, when there was no fucking Instagram or Facebook and none of that bullshit social media as you know that's how you used to get lucky and meet girls and just get a girl bro kind of missed that hello jennifer it's gloria trillo i'll talk really about sorry, tony to make it today. everything all right yeah yeah fine well that was wine cool well ready smashing I'm glad you called do you want to reschedule? No, it's okay. I'll just see you next week at the regular time. Okay, I'll see you next week. She heard Tony on the phone, bro. Hmm. Damn, Tony, you was doing so good. Well, he wasn't really doing good because he was messing with hookers in the last episode. Oh, he really about to rock the boat. Rock the boat. Rock the boat. This episode was okay to me. We already nine episodes in, bro. And I like, I already want to see some shit go down. Like, granted, this is the best season for me so far. But it's like, all right, come on. Can we get to the shit now? You know what I'm saying? Y'all made me wait nine episodes and every episode has been great. But I want to see some shit go down already. It's like we're getting close to it, you know? And y'all keep teasing me and teasing me. They probably saving it for the, like the last final three episodes. But no, let's start getting to the shit already. But other than that, I can honestly say that I like the direction that the show's going. Metal messing with Jackie. I didn't expect that to happen. And I still got red flags. I just don't know how that's going to end, bro. That's like a conflict of interest because when shit starts getting real between Tony and Ralph, whose side is Jack going to be on? So that's going to be that's going to be an issue right there. That's on some Romeo and Juliet shit. I said that earlier. Everything worked itself out with the captain dying on the shitter, you know, so that gave Tony an opportunity to not look weak and promote Ralph the captain, which what is what he wanted. Let's see what happens, because Tony warned him. He said, oh, you know, be careful what you wish for. Now that you're a captain, if you don't start meeting your quotas and earning like you're supposed to earn, or if something goes wrong, you know, they're going to take it out on Ralphie. So 
you know, I'm excited to see what's going to happen in, in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, y'all know what to do. Leave a comment, drop a like, subscribe. Also follow the Patreon if you want to see the full uncut reaction. Anyway, it's your boy Dollars. I'm off this. For my time goes by, they gon' raise a nigga jersey in the sky. Treat a nigga right, big dreaming on my life. Sure they wanna get some air, I go and get up when I fly. Taking off when these niggas are retired. The minute I catch fire, I smoked them all before, just revisiting the high.